R. Well, remember that yesterday we were seeing this topic, present simple tense, yes? In the affirmative form, in the affirmative form. <clears throat> Today we are going to continue with this topic, yes? It's a little long, so we are going to continue with this topic. Vamos a continuar con el tema de el presente simple. La idea es que quede supremamente claro. Vamos a hacer más ejercicios. Entonces vamos a repasar un poco la teoría que vimos ayer. Si las reglas gramaticales como tal. So, present simple tense. Remember that we are seeing or we are watching the... Wait a second. We were seeing the affirmative form. Estábamos viendo la forma afirmativa. So, it changes in these three pronouns. He, she, it. We add the S. Drives, drives, drives. Right? And the rest of the pronoun is normal. I drive, we drive, they drive. Right? They drive, you drive. They drive, you drive. We continue. Here we have another example, the verb to live. I live, you live, he lives, she lives. Oh, it is very complicated, this thing. He lives, she lives, it lives. Yes, here we have a change. Tenemos un cambio es en he, she, it. Que debemos agregar la S. Pero no siempre va a ser solamente agregar la S. Remember the other rules. Yes? The first rule is to add the S. La primera regla, añadir solo la S. Yes? The second rule, when we have some verbs that end in SS, CH, cuando tenemos verbos que terminan en SS, CH, y les voy a agregar otro por acá, SH, debemos no solo agregarle la S, sino ES. Yes. ES. We have to add ES. So we say he, she, it, Mrs. Yes, Mrs. He says. And here, watches. Yes, remember. We continue. Here, when we have a verb that ends in Y, yes, but before the Y, there is a consonant, consonant, we have to add I-E-S, yes? So we have he, she, it, cries, flies, studies. Yes, we are doing a review. Estamos haciendo un pequeño repaso de la clase de ayer, right? We continue. And here we have the irregular verbs. Yes, the irregular verbs because they don't follow any rule. No siguen ninguna de las tres reglas anteriores. They have their own conjugation. They just tienen su propia conjugación. So we have here the verb to go. I go, you go, he goes, she goes, it goes. Yes, that is the different part. He, she, it goes. The pronunciation is goes. And we continue with the verb to do. Yes, hacer. I do, you do, he, she, it does. We do, you do, they do. Remember the pronunciation. Das, das. And finally, the verb to have, el verbo tener, que también es un verbo irregular porque no sigue las reglas anteriores, se conjuga a su propia, de su propia manera. I have, you have, he, she, it has, we have, you have, they have. Yes, acá tenemos he, she, it, la conjugación para el verbo tener. Has, has. So remember these rules. 
Yes. So we uh, yesterday we saw the Garfield's daily routine. We are going to skip this part. Vamos a saltarnos esta parte que ya la vimos el día de ayer para continuar con los otros ejercicios. Well, we also did these exercises. Yes, también hicimos estos dos ejercicios. Ahora vamos a continuar con este ejercicio de acá, de conjugación. So look. Exercise number one. Put the verbs in the correct form. So we have here, I'm going to go down. Ah, again. Well, um, is it good the image? Yes. Can you see the sentences? Is it good the size? You know, size? El tamaño? Yes. Tamaño de la letra, está bien? Okay, perfect. Well, look, we have here one sentence, yes? She, here in brackets, entre parentheses, we say in brackets, we have the verb take a bath every day. As we have the pronoun she, como tenemos el pronombre she, sabemos que debemos agregarle una S. Yes, very good, Seba, Zaida, Aileen. So, the correct Conjugation here is she takes a bath every day. Ella toma un baño en, el, en latina todos los días, right? Number two, he swim. The verb is swim in the afternoon. What is the correct conjugation of the verb swim, swim? Very good, Aileen, eh, Sebas. Swims. Swims. Debemos agregarle la S. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos con el pronombre he. Swims. He swims. They watch. Pay attention. Watch. Watch, but we have the pronoun they. Tenemos el pronombre they. So what is the correct conjugation of the verb watch? They watch, normalito. Yes. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos el pronombre they. Con el pronombre they, el verbo queda normal. No le hacemos ningún cambio. ¿Ok? Solo es con los pronombres he, she, it. Yes. We continue. Cook, number four. Cook twice a week. Very good, Aida, Jose, Safka. We cook, el verbo queda de normalito, no le hacemos ningún cambio. You play computer games. Play computer games. Very good, Ida, Vivian. You play, el verbo queda normal. You play computer games. Number six. I, we have the verb like, gustar, sweets. Dulces. What is the correct conjugation? Very good, Vivian. Very good, Sebas. I like. Me gustan los dulces. I like. We continue. The cats. We have the verb run, que es correr. Run in the evening, en la noche. Remember, the cats, cuando es Plural viene siendo el pronombre they, ellos, they. So, they run, very good, they run. The cats run. The boys is the same, plural. As it is plural, it is the pronoun they. So, the boys love very good love aman los juegos los chicos aman los juegos number nine my friend 
laugh when he sees our dog. Look at this. Here we are seeing um, we are saying my friend. Friend en inglés no sabemos si se refiere a un hombre o a una mujer. Solo dice friend, un amigo, uno solo, uno solo. O sea que ese amigo puede ser tanto hombre como mujer. ¿Sí? Se puede estar refiriendo a él o a ella. So, very good idea, very good Safka. Como tenemos el pronombre he, she, la conjugación vendría siendo con ese. Loves. My friend loves when he sees our dog, right? We continue, number 10, Anne and Pete. Ah, Peter. Anne and Peter. They. What is the correct conjugation? Very good, Ida. Very good, Seba, Safka. They meet. They meet once a week. Number 11, Anne. Pay attention. Anne is the pronoun she. Yes. Study, el verbo study termina en Y. Muy bien. Very good. Aileen, Safka, Aida, Vivian, Sebas. Como termina en Y, la conjugación debe ser de la siguiente manera. Quitamos la Y, ponemos I, E, S. Studies. Estamos siguiendo la regla número 3. And studies English regularly. Number 12, Peter. Peter is the pronoun he. He. And we have the verb cry. What is the correct conjugation? Very good, Aileen. Sebas. Cries. Termina en Y antes de la Y hay una consonante, por lo tanto, debo hacer el cambio que hicimos en la anterior. Borro la Y. I -E -S. Peter cries when he watches a sad movie. Number 13. Peter and his family. Peter y su familia. O sea, they, ellos. What is the correct conjugation? They rest. Very good. They rest after school. Number 14, a parrot, a parrot, a parrot, this is an animal, so it, it. Esto es un loro, un papagayo, so, very good. Tenemos el verbo half pero debe estar conjugado con el pronombre it. Por lo tanto, recordemos que la correcta conjugación es has. A parrot has. Un loro tiene a lot of feeders, quiere decir muchas, a lot of, eso quiere decir muchas, feeders, plumas. Muchas plumas. Yes. <clears throat> We continue. Number 15, my dog. My dog is the pronoun it. And we have the word bark. Bark, that is ladrar. Bark. Very good. My dog barks. Debo agregarle la S porque está con el pronombre it. Yes. Okay, students, clear this exercise. I'm going to repeat the sentences and we are going to clarify the vocabulary. Yes, so I'm going to change the color right here. Number one. She takes a bath every day. She takes a bath every day. Ella toma un baño todos los días. Yes. Esto recordemos que es tina o bañera. Number two. He swims in the afternoon. He swims in the afternoon. Él nada 
en la tarde. Number three. They watch TV every day. Students, how do you say they watch TV every day in Spanish? How do you say that in Spanish? What is that in Spanish? Number three. Ellos ven televisión todos los días. Yes. Very good. Number four. We cook twice a week. We cook twice a week. Nosotros cocinamos. Esto significa dos veces, dos veces a la semana. Dos veces a la semana. Twice a week. Number five, you play computer games once a day. Tú juegas jueguitos en el computador una vez al día. Yes. Once a day. Una vez al día. I like sweets. Me gustan los dulces. The cats run in the evening. Los gatos corren en la noche. Number eight, the boys love Games, los chicos aman los juegos. Number nine, my friend loves when he sees our dog. Mi amigo se ríe cuando él ve nuestro perro. Yes. Esto es reírse. Loves, se ríe. Number ten, Anne and Peter meet once a week. Anne and Peter se ven, esto es, o se reúnen, yes, se ven o se reúnen una vez a la semana. Once a week. Number 11. Anne studies English regularly. Anne estudia, estudia inglés regularmente. Number 12. Peter cries when he watches a sad movie. Peter grita con el, cuando él ve una, eh, ah no, esto es llorar, llorar, perdón. Peter llora cuando él ve una película triste. Yes. Recordemos que cry puede ser gritar o puede ser llorar, tiene dos significados. Yes. Number 13, Peter and his family rest after school. Peter y su familia descansan después de la escuela. 14. A parrot has a lot of feeders. Un loro tiene muchas eh, plumas. And finally, my dog barks when it sees a stranger. Mi perro ladra cuando ve a un extraño. Right? Students doubt... Questions or doubts about this exercise? Preguntas, dudas acerca del ejercicio, de la conjugación. No questions? All right. Well, we are going to continue. Exercise number two. Choose the correct form of the verb. Escoja la forma correcta del verb. Choose the correct form of the verb. So, number one. I watch or I watches TV every day. What is the correct form? Very good, Aileen. Very good, Karen. Sapka. I watch. I watch. TV every day. Number two, I drinks or I drink water when I am thirsty. What is the correct conjugation? Very good, Sebas, Karen, Aileen. I drink, I drink water when I am thirsty. Cuando estoy sediento o sedienta. Okay. Number three, she eat, eats when she's hungry. 
What is the correct conjugation? Very good, Tati. Safka Karen. It's. Como es pronombre she, debo ponerlo con la S. She eats. She eats when she is hungry. Number four. Bueno, cuando ella está hambrienta. ¿Sí? Hungry, hambrienta. Number four. They walk or walks their dog in the afternoon. Very good, Aileen. Jose. They walk. They walk. They are dog in the afternoon. Esto es como ellos sacan a caminar su perrito en la tarde. Number five. We usually play, plays tennis. What is the correct conjugation? Very good. We usually play tennis. Number six, Peter sometimes studies or study English. Pay attention. Peter. Peter is which pronoun? ¿Cuál es el pronombre de Peter? Peter vendría siendo el pronombre he. Por lo tanto, debe ir conjugado con la S, pero en este caso hay que hacerle un cambio. Yes, very good, Sebas, Jose. Studies. Studies. Peter sometimes studies English. Number seven, Anne goes or go to school every day. Very good. Goes and goes and goes to school every day. Anna va a la escuela todos los días. Number eight, my cat. Pay attention, my cat. Is the pronoun it? Yes, it's an animal. It. Very good, Sebas, Vivian, Tati. Likes. My cat likes fish. A mi gato le gusta el pescado. Number nine. My hamsters. Pay attention. Plural. It is plural. My hamster, so that is the pronoun they. They love or loves their food. They love. Very good. They love. Ellos aman. They love. And number 10, you dance or dances when you listen or listens to a song. Here we have two verbs. So, dance or dances. Very good to us. Tafka, Eileen, you dance. You dance to bailas when you listen or listens. La otra partecita. Listen or listens. Listen solito, sin la S. La S va con he, she, it. When you listen to a song. Very good. All right. I'm going to repeat the sentences. I watch TV every day. I drink water when I am thirsty. She eats when she is hungry. They walk their dog in the afternoon. We usually play tennis. Peter sometimes studies English. Anne goes to school every day. My cat likes fish. My hamsters love their food. You dance when you listen to a song. All right. Questions, doubts about this exercise? Preguntas, dudas acerca de este ejercicio, de pronto acerca del vocabulario. No questions? All right, we continue. Here we have two more uh, exercises online. Wait a second, they are charging. It's very easy. I'm going to share the link here on the chat.
and we are going to share the screen here. All right, students, are you seeing the web page? Yes. Agenda web, learn English online. Okay, perfect. Well, we have here two options. I'm going to write the options. Bueno, como eh, la opción no me deja que ustedes vean las opciones, ¿sí? voy a ponerles las opciones. Leaf, esta es una opción, Leaf. Yes. Y la otra opción es Lives. Es el verbo vivir, ¿sí? Leaf. Lips, solo hay dos opciones para todos los para todas las oraciones, ¿ok? Number one, I in Australia, I live or I lives, I live, very good, I live in Australia. Number two, you in Mexico, you in Mexico, you live. Very good. You live in Mexico. Number three, he in Brazil. He lives. Very good, Jose, Karen. Lives. He lives in Brazil. Number four, she in Italy. She in Italy. She lives in Italy. Very good, with S. The following one, it or uh, the lion, yes, it in Africa. It lives. It lives in Africa with S, yes, with S. Number, well, the following one, we in England. We in England. So we live in England. We live in England. The following one, you in Turkey. You in Turkey. You live in Turkey. They in Spain. They in Spain. They live in Spain. Very good. We're going to check. All of them correct. I live in Australia, you live in Mexico, he lives in Brazil, she lives in Italy, it lives in Africa, we live in England. You live in Turkey, they live in Spain. All right, very good. Now we are going to continue with the second exercise. I'm going to share the link over here. Okay, look, here we have more options, yes? Work. The first one is work or works. The second one is write or writes. Write or writes. The third one is eat or eats. Eat or eats. Number four is want or wants. One, once, and this one is play, place, play, place, right? So, number one, my mother work or works, my mother, my mother puede ser reemplazado por cuál pronombre, she, so she works, works, ¿sí? She works on Sundays. Ella trabaja los domingos. Number two, we, the answers, we write or writes. Very good, Aida. We write, sin la S, we write the answers. Nosotros escri escribimos las respuestas. Eat, eat, or eat. Very good, Karen. Very good, Aida. Very good, Aileen. It eats. It eats grass. Number four. 
I want or I want more ice cream. More ice cream, más helado. I want. Yo quiero más helado. I want more ice cream. Number five. She never, she, pay attention. She never chess, chess, ajedrez. Very good. She never plays chess. She never plays chess. We continue, but I have to raise this. Uh, no, wait. I can, yes, I can go down. Now, we have walk or walks. Walk, walks. We have here drive, drives. We have here make, makes. Make, makes. We have here speak, speaks. Speak, speaks. And finally, pay, pays. Pay, pays. All right. So here, he, I am sorry, in they, they walk or walks. Walk is el verbo caminar. Walk. They walk. Ellos caminan a la escuela. They walk to school. He, he drive or drives a bus. Very good. He drives, él conduce un bus. Monkeys, monkeys make or makes. Monkeys, plural. That is they. Make es hacer, en este caso, hacer. Monkeys make. A lot of noise significa mucho, mucho ruido. A lot of noise, mucho ruido. Yes. Monkeys está en plural. Yes. Por lo tanto, viene siendo el pronombre they. This girl, esta chica. This girl. This girl viene siendo el pronombre she. This girl speak or speaks. Very good, Aileen. Aida speaks Italian. My father, my father, my father viene siendo el pronombre he. My father pay or pays for the tickets. Pays, very good, Vivian. So, pays, mi papá paga por los tiquetes. My father pays for the tickets. All right, we're going to check. Very good. Now we are going to read them. My mother works on Sundays. We write the answers. It eats grass. Grass, césped, see? Eso come césped. I want more ice cream. She never plays chess. Ella nunca juega ajedrez. They walk to school. He drives a bus. Monkeys make a lot of noise. This girl speaks Italian. My father pays for the tickets. Students, questions, doubts? Preguntas, dudas hasta el momento? ¿Cómo vamos con el presente simple? ¿Bien? Yo sé que es un tema un poco largo, es de cuidado, entonces la idea es que hagamos muchos ejercicios, que nos quede supremamente claro eh, la parte afirmativa, ¿sí? Después continuamos con la parte negativa y después con la parte interrogativa. Vamos a ir por partes. ¿Good? ¿No questions? Bueno, de pronto las personas que no estuvieron en la clase de ayer, el día de ayer explicamos pues más a fondo, eh, las reglas del presente simple para la conjugación, ¿sí? Entonces, pueden buscar el video en la página de Ciudad Bilingüe, en, 
dándole clic en el botoncito de YouTube, les va a mandar a las clases, ¿sí? La buscan con la fecha del 22 de julio, que fue el día de ayer que vimos el presente simple con las reglas como tal. Ayer nos centramos más que todo en las reglas y hoy estamos poniendo eh, en práctica estas reglas, ¿ok? All right. So, uh, I'm going to finish this and we are going to continue with this exercise over here. Vamos a continuar con este ejercicio. Tier person. All right. Students, are you seeing the web page? This web page? I work, I dance, I play. Yes? Okay, perfect. Bueno. Este ejercicio es muy sencillo. No necesito ponerle, ponerles las opciones porque ustedes me van a decir la respuesta. Acá, el verbo work, que es trabajar, está conjugado con el pronombre I, que es yo. Yo trabajo. Pero yo voy a decir, él trabaja. Entonces, ¿qué debo agregarle a este verbo? Works. Very good. Works. He works. Debo agregarle la S. I dance, I dance, yo bailo, ¿qué debo agregarle? He dances, yes, he dances, he dances, la S. I play, yo juego, ¿qué debo agregarle? He plays, he plays, very good, plays. I study. ¿Qué debo agregarle? Pay attention to this one. Esta termina en Y. Antes de la Y hay una consonante. Consonant. Por lo tanto, la regla vendría siendo Very good, Jose. You said. Aida. Studies. I-E-S. Studies. I wash. Pay attention. S-H. Termina en S-H. Very good. E-S. He washes. Yo lavo, él lava. I wash, he washes. I go. Pay attention, this is irregular. I go, he goes. He goes. I do, yo hago. I do, he. This is irregular. He does. Very good. I do, he does. Well, I am, this is the verb to be, este ya es el verbo to be, yo soy, I am, he, very good, Isabel, he is, he is, yo soy, él es, I have, yo tengo, I have, he has, very good, he has, él tiene, I can, bueno, este ya es el verbo poder, recordemos que el verbo poder se conjuga de la misma manera con todos los pronombres, por lo tanto yo digo he can, yes he can. Acá no le pongo nada más. Este es un verbo especial, es un verbo eh, modal. We are going to check. Very good. All of them correct. I work, he works. I dance, he dances. I play, he plays. I study, he studies. I wash, he washes. I go, he goes. I do, he does. I am, he is. I have, he has. I can, he can. Yes? Questions, doubts about this exercise? Preguntas, dudas acerca de este ejercicio? This exercise? Eh, ya se los mando. Ay, pensé que ya se los había mandado acá. Going to send you this. All right. We continue with this um, exercise on the PDF. Vamos a continuar entonces ya con el PDF, con la presentación anterior. Okay. Look. Here we have this exercise. At S or ES to the verbs. Añada S o ES a los verbos. Right? 
pero nosotros sabemos que también se le puede añadir IES, dependiendo el caso. Yes. So, acá vamos a imaginar que lo estamos conjugando con estos pronombres, he, she, it. ¿Sí? Estamos conjugando todos estos verbos con estos pronombres. Por lo tanto, vamos a empezar por acá. Number one. Sí es el verbo ver. Ver. Sí. Para yo conjugarlo con alguno de estos pronombres, simplemente le añado la S. Sis. Yes. Number two. Take. Take. ¿Cómo me quedaría? Very good. Takes. Simplemente le añado la S. I simply add the S. Takes. Number three. Brush. Cepillar. Pay attention. Brush termina en SH. Por lo tanto, yo no puedo poner solo la S. Tengo que poner ES. ¿Sí? El verbo conjugado me quedaría brushes. Brushes. Yes. Kiss. Kiss termina en SS. La regla de SS es añadirle ES. Yes. Kiss. Kisses. Kiss. Kisses. Number five. Call. Call. Llamar. Acá simplemente le añado la S. Yes. Calls. Give. Give es el verbo dar. Give. Gives. Very good. Simplemente le añado la S. Play. Play. Very good, Karen, Vivian. Plays. Simplemente le añado la S. Study. Pay attention. Here is different. Acá ya es diferente porque este verbo termina en Y. Aparte de que termina en Y, antes hay una consonante. Por lo tanto, la regla me dice, cámbialo a IES. Yes. So, the verb, el verbo me quedaría, studies. Studies. Watch. Pay attention. CH, termina en CH. Very good, Erika. Aida. Watches. Watches. Help, help, helps. We add the S, yes. Helps. Cut, cut es el verbo cortar, cut. Very good, we just add the S. Solo le añadimos la S. Cuts. Cry, cry. Es el verbo llorar o gritar. Termina en Y. Antes de la Y hay una consonante. Por lo tanto, cambiaría. Cries. Cries. Number 14. Wake. Despertar. Wake. Bueno, ahorita hacemos el 13, que el, el cosito acá no nos deja escribir ahí. Yes. 14. Wakes. Simplemente le añadimos la S. Wakes. Teach. Enseñar. El verbo enseñar termina en CH. Por lo tanto, I say teaches. Yes. Lose. Perder. Ese es el verbo perder. Luces. Catch. Catch ends in ch. Ch. What is the correct conjugation? Catches. Very good. Catches. Buy. Comprar. Buy. Buys. Pass. That end. That ends in ss. Ss. So we say. Passes, yes. Passes. Come, come, venir. Comes, comes. Fight, luchar, fight. Very good. 
fights. Solo le añadimos la S, fights. Water, en este caso, es regar, ¿sí? Water, como regar las plantas, water. So, waters. Yes, simplemente decimos waters. Choose, elegir, choose. Chooses. Simplemente le añadimos la S. Chooses. Fly. Fly, volar. Termina en Y, antes de la Y y consonante. Por lo tanto, cambia a I. E S flies. All right. Recordemos que todos estos verbos los estamos conjugando con esas tres personas. ¿Sí? Es como si estuviéramos diciendo he sees, él ve, he takes, él toma, he brushes, él cepilla, he kisses, él besa, he calls, él llama, he gives, él da, he plays, él juega. He studies, él estudia. He watches, él mira. He helps, él ayuda. He cuts, él corta. He cries, él llora. He wakes, él se levanta o él levanta. He teaches, él enseña. He loses, él pierde. He catches, él atrapa. He buys, él compra. He passes, él pasa. He comes, él viene. He fights, él lucha. He waters, él riega. He chooses, él elige. He flies, él vuela. ¿Sí? Todo lo estamos conjugando con esos pronombres. Obviamente también puede ser con el pronombre she. Ok, I'm going to raise this to go down a little. Voy a eliminar esto para bajar un poquito acá para poder hacer las últimas que nos quedan. So, number, uh, number 13, swim, swim, nadar. ¿Cómo quedaría swim? Number 13, the verb swim, swims, very good. Simplemente le añado la S. Match, match. Match, que es emparejar, me quedaría matches. Matches. Carry, carry, que es cargar. Como termina en Y, antes de la Y y consonante, me quedaría carries. Carries. All right. Very good. Students, questions, doubts, preguntas, dudas acerca de este ejercicio. No questions. All right. Bueno, vamos a terminar entonces con este ejercicio de acá. Here we have. Underline the correct variant. Underline es hacer una linecita acá. Yes, underline. So, number one. We have the question and we have option A, option B. Yes. So, number one. Tom tidy or tidies his room every Saturday. What is the correct answer? B, very good. Tom tidies his room every Saturday. Tidies quiere decir Tom organiza su habitación todos los sábados. Number two. We listen, listens to music every day. What is the correct option? A. We listen. Tenemos el pronombre we. No es necesario ponerle la S. La S va con he, she, it. Yes, A. Number three. Mary usually watch or watches TV in the evening. Pay attention. Mary 
es el pronombre she. Por lo tanto, Mary watches TV in the evening. Yes. Mary usualmente ve televisión en la noche. Number four. The girls often with the dolls. Play or plays. The girls, plural, plural. Las niñas, o sea, they. They often, ellos usualmente, they often play. Yes, so they often play with the dolls, dolls, muñecas. Yes. Number five. I swim or swims in the pool on Sundays. I swim in the pool on Sundays. Very good. I'm going to go down with the sixth one. They do or does their homework every day. They do. They do. Yes. Well, I'm going to put it smaller. Bueno, más pequeño. We have tidies, listen, watches, play, swim, do. I'm going to repeat the sentences. Number one, Tom tidies his room every day. Number two, we listen to the music every day. Number three, Mary usually watches TV in the evening. Number four, The gears often play with the dolls. Number five, I swim in the pool on Sundays. Number six, they do their homework every day. Students, questions, doubts, preguntas, dudas acerca del tema del día de hoy, acerca del presente simple. No questions? All right. So I will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Yes. Take care. Have a nice day. Goodbye.